Hey, it's Eddie here. Now, in this video, I'll be going through how you can set up and use Tor browser on your Windows machine, as well as some of the benefits provided by Tor. Now, for those that don't know what a Tor browser is, it's basically a browser that has been designed in such a way that it will provide you with the much needed privacy in the cyberspace. So, data privacy is of utmost importance. You don't have a choice. As long as you are on the internet, you are vulnerable. So it is for the individual or company to take this responsibility in protecting their data online. There are many tools and methods to this effect, but let's focus on Tor for now. Now let's see some of the benefits offered by Tor. Blocking trackers. Tor block trackers by isolating each website you visit. So malicious third-party trackers and ads can't follow you. Any cookies or browsing history automatically get clear, automatically get clear when you are done browsing. The Tor browser defends you against surveillance. So what it does is it protects you from hackers monitoring traffic to see what site you visit. So the only thing that they will be seeing while monitoring that traffic is that you are using the Onion route. Resisting fingerprinting. So it is very difficult for attackers to fingerprint you based on your browser and device information while you are using Tor because Tor makes all users look the same on the network. So it provides multi-layered encryption. So your traffic is relayed and encrypted three times as it passes over the Tor network. So the Tor network is comprised of what? Thousands of volunteer-run servers known as Tor release. So with Tor browser, you are free to access site, your home network, Now, downloading and installing um, your Tor browser is pretty straightforward, just the normal Windows installation. Now, you visit the website, you click on the download button there, it will take you to the page where you select the operating system you are using. I'm using Windows, so I will select download for Windows. So the file is downloading. I'll click on open when done. Now it's done. Now click OK. Just your normal basic Windows installation. And click next. Now we wait for it to get installed. Um, I will click on finish with both box checked because I want to run Tor browser immediately. Now this is the first um, GUI or page that you see. Uh, welcoming you to the browser so here yeah, i will click on configure but really you can click on connect to just connect directly to the Tor network i will go ahead and click configure the configure button leads to this page where it says it offers two options for you two check boxes so the first one is tor you you are to select it if tor is censored in your country so the second one is I use a proxy just like asking or answering some few questions by, by Tor. So I'm not going to check either. I'm just going to click on. After clicking the connect button, so we have to wait for some few minutes to enable it, establish connection to the Tor network. It's loading it's actually fast. See all the information it is actually relaying um, loading relay information and uh, establishing connection so we are done now we are in so this is the welcoming page so let me maximize it this is the page that you'll be greeted with you see by default it is using um, DuckDuckGo as a search engine so DuckDuckGo is actually another layer for security because DuckDuckGo uh, unlike Google they are also trying to provide that data privacy or additional data privacy so if you click on on this uh, little information from the address bar, you see you see the information about the connection, telling you that this is a secure Tor browser page. So to even take things further, I will check the the little information about the the connection. Now what you can see here is is the circuit. The first one is my browser. This is the first starting point. So you now reach a server. There in what Germany. So from that server, 
it reached another server in Germany too. So from Germany, it took me to France. Then it landed on what? The dogdoggo.com. So it actually take like three servers from my end to dogdoggo.com. So you can see this is the multi-layered encryption. So you can actually decide or if you want to check or if you want to change this, the Tor circuit, you can, you can do that. So you can click on new circuit to enable another route from maybe Germany, then maybe Australia or some other country like that. So let me try and click the new circuit for this side and see. So you can see now it changed from France. Sorry, initially it was Germany, Germany, then France, then DuckDuckGo.com. But now, as I click this change or new circuit for this site, it has actually changed from Germany to France, then to Germany again, then to DuckDuckGo.com. So this is another way of what staying anonymous on the internet. So this will be very difficult for hackers to identify where you're coming from exactly. So clicking on this shield will will, will tell you which security level configuration you are using. So right now, by default, it is using the standard. So you can see there it is the standard security level. So if I click on the advanced security settings, it will take me to a page where I will change. I can be able to change the security level from standard to safer to or from safer to. Standard security level is the default. So under this security level, all Tor browser and website features are enabled. So the safer is a little bit in the middle between the standard and the safest. So this level disable website features that are what often dangerous. So this may cause some site to lose functionality, especially media content. Not all sites do, some sites do work or some don't. So basically what it does is it tries to disable the JavaScript on that site. On all the non-HTTP sites, some fonts and math symbols are also disabled. Your video and audio um, has to be clicked before they play. So the service block a lot of stops from running. So this level only allows website features required for static site and basic services. So these changes affect images, media, and script. It does almost the same thing as the server, but this one is on another level. So the JavaScript has been disabled by default on all sites. Some fonts, icons, math symbol, and images are also disabled. The audio and video content has to be clicked before the play. I can assure you that under these surface settings, even YouTube videos will not load. And that is when you check this box, Tor will try to identify the site you visit and compare it with the non malicious site. So if it is found in that list, Tor will try and block that site immediately. That is it. I hope you learned one or two things and um, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.